Over the past week, I have scoured the internet for the craziest outfits worn to Paris Fashion Week 2024. I have looked through hundreds of images showcasing different celebrities that I have never even heard of wearing some insane outfits. We have boiled down the list to the top 20 most outrageous outfits and we're going to go through all 20 outlining what I like, what I don't like, what's crazy. Talk through that in five. Just kidding. Right now. Kicking it off, number one, Mr. Jacob Elordi. So I actually, I'm a fan of this outfit. I think this outfit is cool. The shorts, throw it off a little bit, but I love the tie, love the jacket, the leather, the athletic feel, upscale athletic feel, and the shades, real clean, real chill, and also a fan of Jacob Elordi. I mean, great actor. Next, we have Jaden Smith at LV. This outfit, I actually found very interesting. I like the top. The top is very interesting. It's like this quilted fabric, sort of structured. The silhouette is very cool. Something that I haven't really seen before. Accessorized very well, of course. The only thing that I don't like about this outfit is the pants. I feel like I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the, the stacking going on at the at the bottom. I feel like these could be a little bit more well tailored, but it's it's the aesthetic. But that's why it falls second instead of first in my list. Third, we have the boy Cole Sprouse. If you could take a guess, yes, this is at Balenciaga, right? Sith Lord vibes. All black, very cool. Overcoat. All of Balenciaga was all black, which of course, yes, makes sense. But this outfit falls a little bit below on the slide deck at number three because of the top. The top is just weird to me. It's like a crop top, hooded, quarter zip. It's interesting, but I know from experience that them chest hairs popping out are going to get caught in that zipper multiple times, especially if he tries to zip it up at all. You got to leave that, sh that thing unzipped zipped all night if you if somebody even comes up and zips it up you're ripping a landing strip on the chest so got to be careful with that but overall decent fit moving to number four jared leto now jared leto was on here a couple times maybe even a few times we shall see but this fit is probably the most calm fit that jared leto wore all fashion week it's like a rock star vibe leopard jacket no shirt the boots jared leto in the boots i will give you some foreshadowing the boots are a little crazy but it's jared leto doing his thing skinny pants cool fit overall calm fit okay now i believe number five Jared Leto Givenchy this fit I actually like and it's up there in the favorite out of the 20 that I've chosen at first I was like I don't know what he's wearing um, but it, it grew on me the more that I looked at it the vibe over all the glasses the cut of the sleeves is very clean the different textures going on in this on this top too or this dress that he's wearing and that's something that we saw I think a lot with a lot of these celebrity outfits is dresses or skirts which not a huge fan of but I think Jared Leto pulls it off in this one looks pretty nice it looks pretty nice all right next we have Usher at the business of fashion gala this fit overall i actually really like i like the jacket i like the top it's clean I, the beanie and the sock combo is interesting it's an interesting one like i said just last slide the skirts just not going for me i just i'm personally not feeling them this is why i fell back a little bit overall other than that if you would want some well with some slacks this is a clean fit this is a clean calm fit you get some slacks that are cut up a little higher you can still show off the socks the shoes are dope too they got some cool studs around the edges clean fit all right number uh something i'm not sure Troy Sivan, we'll see him on this list a couple times as well this one went from end of the list to beginning of the list to middle of the list and back and forth and back and forth and, and push and pull because the more i thought about this the more crazy that it got just imagine for a second stepping out of your house in public with no pants on no pants and on top of that some boots that look too big so the silhouette is just weird here and if if troy would have just thrown on some light wash denim kept it super calm and clean i love the color of this top i love the vibe overall the necklace no pants is just wild for me i just i i, I couldn't bring myself to uh move this fit up towards the front of the list you know it is what it is if you want to rock no pants it's it's pair of fashion week so you can do pretty much almost anything but i just imagine you know myself stepping out of the house grocery shopping or whatever it may be with no pants on it's not gonna go good it's not gonna go well so don't try it if you're not in paris and it's not fashion week i don't even know if this would be able to be pulled off at new york fashion week to be honest but anyways Troy Sivan on to the next next we have Alexis Stone and this is Balenciaga sort of pulling away from all the other Balenciaga fits which were all black drapey silhouettes Sith Lord vibes Alexis Stone went with something a little different 101 Dalmatians vibe very cosplay costume fur overcoat honestly I actually really like this outfit I, when I first saw it it was much a lot more towards the end of the list but it moved its way up the more that I thought about it because we were starting to get into that gray area of cosplay costume fashion is art but we're just teetering on the edge of it right we're just teetering on the edge with this dress jacket skin tight legging boot co uh, combo overall i'm a fan cool fit but we're getting there 
we're getting. You could tell we're at about the midway point. Next, we have Miss Christina Hendricks. Not sure who she is, but wore this fit to Vivian Westwood's show. And when I first saw this outfit, I thought it struck me as a lot of ugly wallpaper caving in on someone and them just walking out of the house with it. In the best way, I say that in the best way. But the only thing that throws this outfit off for me is the vest. The, the plaid vest, is it, uh, it doesn't fit in my mind. I can see breaking this up a little bit with maybe a solid or maybe even stripes. The plaid vest and the colors in the vest, just it throws it off for me. Overall, actually, I'm a fan of some of these patterns and what we see here and the, the proportions of the fit, especially with the red hair, but the vest really does it for me. I will say Christina Hendricks, she did her thing though. Uh, she just took that vest off, maybe put more solid vest on. It'll be, a, it'll, be a, it'll be a good fit. Next, we have Alton Mason and this is at Fendi. This is probably one of my favorite outfits on here. This may take the cake for the best outfit. A award although we're getting to the middle of the list obviously this outfit's a little crazy right you have a lot of stuff going on you have the travis scott vibe with the one shoulder pad very embellished with a lot of silver got the bb-esque belt the leather pants with this one it, the leather pants being a little bit more stacked at the heel makes more sense to me because it just goes with the outfit a little bit more and then you got the latex arm sleeves i really like this outfit and it's something that surprised me myself when i saw it yeah and also is this not Lil Nas X? I honestly thought this was Lil Nas X when I first saw it. And I'm still convinced that maybe Lil Nas X changed their name, maybe. I don't know, something, but we're getting out there. We're getting out there. All right, I believe number 11, we see Jared Leto again for his third and final installment on this list in this, what may not strike some people as crazy outfit, but to me, I don't know about this one. I really don't know about this one. It's like, you know what I mean? The red makeup on the eyes, it's like a native american war tribe vibe i don't know if i'm i'm swinging with it the pink and purple hair the leather jacket i don't even know if he's wearing a sh is he wearing even wearing a shirt i don't think there's a shirt on under there the boots again jared leto with the boots these boots on the outside of pants are just crazy to me i don't i can't i really you can tell we're starting to get into the craziness i believe this is outfit 11 or 12 or 10 we're in the middle we're treating towards the edge let's go to number 13 or 12 or 14 whatever it may be Troy Sivan again at Rebon, not a brand that I'm familiar with, but wearing this crazy chest piece. So I went through this list with a couple people, ran it by him. What are your thoughts? And this was a divisive one. If only Troy Sivan could have wore these pants with the last outfit, it would have made so much more sense. Honestly, no pants with this outfit makes more sense to me. The chest piece is, is cool. It's, it's something that I've never seen before in fashion. It's a very embellished way. It's like jewelry, but different. And I could see this concept being very cool. Um, it's just a detached piece, not exactly built into a garment. But being able to be worn like this is a, it's a cool concept. I'm rocking with it, but we're getting into uh, murky waters in regards to outrageous, ridiculous, yada, yada. You may not think so. I, honestly, I'd love to know. But before we slide into number 14 or 13 or whatever number it may be, if you're enjoying this video, if you enjoy fashion content, subscribe to the channel hit the like button thumbs up leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are i would love to hear it and let's get back to it next we have miss erica badu at marnie i believe that she actually did a collaboration with marnie and i believe this hat was a part of the collaboration uh with marnie if the hat was gone on this outfit honestly it'd be pushed more towards the front of not as like crazy and outlandish outfits the hat really throws this off and then whatever is going on with this black plaid extended i don't know if she's carrying a blanket in case she gets cold i'm not too sure the hat is crazy to me too like how is that staying on your head hopefully there's no wind going on because if there's wind it's it's that hat is gone unless it's on there tight like ti with the side tilt hat however that stayed on i don't know if you super glued it or whatnot but overall i love the colors i love the proportions of this outfit the hat is it's 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 pushing over the edge funny enough we have erica badu again um and of course for balenciaga she's in that vampire witch vibe got a stone gray dress got lots of layers going on in this outfit this quilted carryover cape going on with this crazy scrunched up neckline and the makeup overall this is a very i think i feel a very well put together outfit which is why it didn't fall farther on the list in terms of craziness and outrageousness because when i'm thinking of outrageous and crazy i'm also thinking of not stylistically making a lot of sense but not going together in terms of proportion and silhouette and this one feels good to me but it feels like very costumish which we saw a lot with balenciaga and as we get farther into the list you will start to see that next offset 
walking around somewhere. I don't know what show he was going to. I don't know what World War II reenactment or Civil War reenactment he was heading to. But these pants, the pants with this outfit hurt my feelings, honestly. The pin tuck rolled up skinny jeans with this jacket and these shoes. It's, it's not it. It's not it for me. Overall, if, the, if this outfit had some different pants, like maybe what was Jared Leto was wearing to Givenchy or just some black slacks or something like that. And maybe another pop of color with red. This outfit is fire. This is, honestly is a trash put together outfit. Hot take maybe. I don't know, but I'm I'm not feeling this one. It's it's the vibes ain't right. It's thrown off. There's the, trying to do too much and it's not working. Next on the list, we have MGK at Dolce & Gabbana and shout out to Canelo Alvarez in the background popping through with a little smile. But anyways, this is a weird outfit to me. The eyeshadow makeup. I'm not going to say what I want to, but the, the, the melting pearl earrings with the makeup in the face net, like, you know, you're in the kitchen, but the hair net is too big and you're trying to just be different. And the deepest V I've ever seen on a shirt. I don't even know if that's a shirt anymore. Who knows it, what the bottom of this outfit it looks like i don't want to know actually the corset i think at this point the leather jacket is fire but i think at this point don't wear a shirt and just take the corset off just go shirtless tat it up with the leather jacket <sighs> that's all i gotta say this outfit is like what next we have miss cynthia irivo irivo this is at louis vuitton I think Louis Vuitton, I didn't see the show yet, and I do still owe that to myself to watch that, but I think Louis Vuitton had some of these like space age Star Trek, Star Trek type of garments in it, which is what she was wearing, this uh, bodysuit on the undergarm as the base layer of this outfit. The thing that throws me off about this outfit is the cape thing that she's wearing on the outset, on the outside over this outfit. Like if you just take the, this cape off and you undo the ropes and you free yourself of whatever is going on, this cape that is going on over this bodysuit. Like it's a fire outfit and you're getting pushed up towards the front of the list. And honestly, the look overall feels a lot more authentic. It feels very space age. If it should, shall I say it feels very GI Jane? I don't, maybe I shouldn't, but the purse, everything looks cool. It's really just this God ugly, cape that's going on that I, I can't get with and um, I'm not personally feeling it um, and it is towards the back of the list for that reason we're getting into deep we're getting into deep waters we're getting into deep waters just wait till you see what is next all right we're at 18 we're at the tail end of the list and we have of course Michelle Lamy is going to be at the tail end. Rick Owens, beautiful muse of a wife. She's always she's always going to be at the tail end of whatever list. She's always going to be on whatever list for any fashion week that's going on. But she's got a crazy bubbly outfit on with blobs and misshapes and jewelry. That's crazy. But that's Michelle Lamy. We know what to expect. But with Offset, just the different, even Offset, if he took these pants that he's wearing here and put them with that jacket, that would have gone better than with those skinny jeans that he was wearing. Like, I just don't understand what was going through his mind when he put the, that jacket on and put those pants on and rolled them up even too. Like, but anyways, let's, this outfit, very bondage-esque look. Rick Owens, it could be Balenciaga, feels more Rick Owens. Overall, the proportions are, I like the proportions on this outfit. I like the layering piece, the leather jacket with the shirling details. I like the boots. It feels very cool. It feels very Rick Owens. Um, um, but you, I definitely think you got to keep this unzipped because if you zip it up, man, I, I can only imagine how hot that is if you zip that up too. And you're just running around with them four holes in your face to breathe out of and who knows what holes to see out of. But this outfit feels crazy to me. It feels very bondage. It feels very Rick Owens. And of course, standing next to Michelle Lemmy, it feels toned down. Number 19, possibly... Possibly I could be wrong about this and I would love to know what you think. Possibly number 20 even. Possibly the most outrageous, craziest outfit. We have Usher again for his last appearance on this list at Balenciaga. Like I said, Balenciaga, a lot of weird stuff going on over there. Demna's doing some interesting things, but we expected this, right? We knew this was going to happen, but this outfit is crazy to me. The crazier, it gets even crazier the more that you look at it. Strikingly, the face mask, whatever's going on, that's definitely not comfortable. I don't think that's comfortable. The shapes that's going on like the spherical stained glass face mask that's going on is a weird vibe the overcoat is fire at first you're like whoa those boots are interesting but i don't know if the boots are boots if they're 
boots built into pants where the boots end and the pants start if they even start and end or if it's all one unit but it feels very aerodynamic at the bottom but weird fit ah it could be wrong this 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 could be the this could be number 20 this could not even be that crazy let me know if you think this is crazier than the Rick Owens offset look that he was just rocking on the previous slide. I, I would honestly love to know what you think because I could be wrong on this one, but this one feels more crazy of a choice to me with the boot pants or whatever's going on down below. And the final outfit, the most outrageous, crazy, ridiculously over the top costume, cosplay, couture, I don't know what to call this, but we have Coco Rocha, whoever that is at the BOF Gala in this Christian Cohen runway spring summer 24 look that I, I don't even know. You can't call this a dress. You can't call this a top. And the craziest thing, I'm not personally a huge fan of fashion as art. I think it has its place. This is the only place that you could get away with something like this. There's a few things. I, this image poses so many questions for me. How did you get this on? Can you use your arms? I don't think you can use your arm. What if you want something to drink? What if, is it hot in there? There's gotta be maybe a fan built in. Like, what are you hiding under there also? What are you sneaking in? How long are you wearing this for? There's no way that she had this thing on for longer than it took for them to take this photo. Did she take a car to here? Did she get in some type of vehicle and transport to this gala in this, uh, piece there's i just i can't see it i cannot see it being a possibility so this is at the end of the list for me this is number 20 this is the most outrageous outfit that i came across for paris fashion week 2024 am i wrong am i right did you see something crazier? I really do want to know. So let me know down below in the comments. And that is the end of this video. Let me know what you think. I, I genuinely want to know if you think I'm wrong about some of these, if you think I'm right. I would love to hear it down below in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Tap in. That's all for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.